Definitely, if you're feeling good about yourself and want to feel depressed, watch BoJack Horseman. Welcome back to Rewind with the Schwitty because... Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous TV show. Bojack the horse, Bojack the horse, don't act like you don't know. And I'm trying to hold on to my past. This has been so long, I don't think I'm gonna last. On today's episode, well, first I want to apologize for uh, taking four episodes off. I, I do really apologize. It wasn't so much Harvest is here, because Harvest really is just starting to kick into full swing this week. Uh, kind of end of last week, and I don't know. I, it, it's, I, needed, I needed a little Harvest, pre-Harvest break, and I guess that's what happened. Uh, I, I do apologize for, for those of you that watch every day that it's supposed to come out, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the day it comes out, 10 o'clock, I'm super sorry to you folks, I'm really sorry to those of you that were, were always try to catch up on time, four episodes gone, but the Tournament of Power, the Costco Signature Brand Tournament of Power is going to be this Friday, I swear it, it will happen I'm going to record it after this block of Monday, Wednesday, probably. Um, either way, though, it is going to be on Friday of this week, I promise you, and we'll go over the next four weeks. Today, though, we're going to jump back to some Kirkland Signature uh, Toscana, get us, get our palettes cleansed and, and ready for for the upcoming tournament, and we'll talk about 10 facts about Super Tuscan Blends. Starting us off, number one. Generally, uh, Super Tuscan Blends are primarily Sangiovese, blended with non-Italian Varietals, generally Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Um, number two. These varietals can also include the likes of Syrah and Petit Verdot. Maybe that could have been one fact instead of two. Number three. It is possible not to contain any Sangiovese at all, or sometimes it's even 100% Sangiovese. That could have been two facts. Stay with me here. Number four. In the mid-1970s, producers in the DOC of Chianti found the restrictions of the DOC too limiting to make wine in, and made Super Tuscan blends uh, that had to be labeled under the Vina da Tavola, or table wine, designation in Italy. One of the lowest, if not the lowest, of Italy's wine designations. Number five. Most modern Super Tuscans use the IGT or Indicazione Geografica Tipica app appellation of Toscana or IGT Toscana Toscana IGT I forget which way that goes Number 6 Toscana can be made in any of the 10 provinces of Tuscany including Pisa, Firenze and Siena Uh, number seven, the first Super Tuscan is credited to Sasakaya in the 1940s for private consumption 
And then eventually, the same label was the first commercial vintage. Uh, and eventually, the same label created the first commercial vintage of Super Tuscan, uh, released in 1971, and I believe that was the 1968 vintage. Number eight. Many well-known Super Tuscans are based on Bordeaux blends. It's because the Italians very much loved those Bordeaux blends. Who doesn't love a good Bordeaux blend? Raise your hand. Good. And if you're having trouble remembering what Bordeaux blends are, here's a title card. Watch some, watch some old episodes of Reline. I think it's almost a year old at this point. Number nine. Under the IGT designation, a wine must have a stated varietal, a producer, and a stated region, as well as being made from 85% of a stated varietal. Finally, number 10. While Super Tuscans only come from Tuscany, some New World producers also make Super Tuscan style blends. And just like the influencing style, Super Tuscan, uh, it can range wildly in what is actually in the blends. So, I know in California, especially past Robles, there's something called the Super Roblin Blend. It's a take on the Super Tuscan. It's primarily Sangiovese and then Bordeaux varietals. So, yeah, the some people learn from genius of the old world fighting against the old... I don't want to say fascist because it's, it's not fascist, but um, constricting uh, wine laws. And that is 10 facts about Super Tuscans. Now, I know that was short and sweet, except for like the 10 minutes it took me to record that introduction. And I still probably got a lyric wrong. Um, I very much enjoyed this weekend. I, I'd had two full days off, which is rare during harvest, so I've been selfishly enjoying them to myself. Uh, I made pasta tonight. It, it's, um, yeah, from, from scratch. I, I made a handmade pasta. It was really fun. Yesterday I watched Netflix's Iron Fist Season 2, which... Way better than season one, not surprising at all, because very low bar, but it, uh, the thing I did not think I would be saying at the end of this weekend is that I want a season three of Iron Fist, and I want it now. And then finally today, I watched season five of BoJack Horseman, which, wow. Um, not as as damning as the last I want to say two seasons were like it while dark and self-destructive because that's who Bojack is it it wasn't as heavy as I was expecting it to be but at the same time it still <laughs> you don't leave watching that show uh feeling good uh, but it is a great examination of, of mental health and self-destructiveness. And um, definitely, if you're feeling good about yourself and want to feel depressed, watch BoJack Horseman. <sighs> love Alison Brie, love Will Arnett. Aaron Paul, uh, fantastic cast. It's, it's brilliant. Anyway, this is a show about wine. I just want to connect with you guys out there and let you know that I'm okay. I hope you are too. Uh, Wednesday, it's a surprise, but it's one of those stupid national days that is really stupid. So we're going to do a BuzzFeed quiz and it's going to have nothing to do with wine. But please come and join me for it because our matey. Yeah, it's National Talk Like a Pirate Day. And then Friday, join us for the two-week delayed start of the Costco Kirkland Signature Brand Tournament of Power! Because, I'm sorry if that spiked, um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be Kirkland. It's going to be Kirkland Signature Brand. It's going to be Costco wine. And we're going to see what's the top, uh, out of the top, well, out of the eight bottles of Kirkland wine that I have. Which one? 
is the master. That's all the time I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Uh, are you happy that I'm back? Would you rather I just leave forever and never come back to this YouTube space? Don't tell me that, but say something nice in the comments below. I will comment back, possibly just as nice about it because, well, hopefully I haven't gone into a spirally depression because of what I watch BoJack Horseman. Um, <laughs> anyway, this has been Rewind. My name is B. Schwitty. I love each and every one of you out there. Thank you for sticking with me. I will catch you next time.